everybody. Welcome to Tangle Break. Today we're going to be doing this tile using the Tangle Fracas. We're going to be using the eight basic steps of the Zentangle method. Step number one is gratitude and appreciation. I am thankful for the time that we're able to take a break from our day to relax and draw. And the supplies that we're going to use are a Micron 01 black pen, a white charcoal pencil, a Zentangle pencil, two Tortillons, one for each pencil, and a three and a half inch tile. So let's get started. So go ahead and get your tile and your pen. And we're going to do step two, which is the corner dots. Step three is the border. Just connect the dots. Step four is the string, but we're going to go straight to the tangle, which is step five. So what we're going to do is draw from corner to corner. And I'm going to have a little arch. Okay, and I'm going to draw from corner to corner with a little arch. And I'm not crossing in the middle. Then I'm going to go from this side through the middle of the X that I just made to the other side. And then I'm going to go down the middle, but at an arch. And I am going to go through this little spot where all of them have connected so far. So each line has a little arch to it. Now I'm going to go in an aura. And I'm going to stop before I get to the point, And I'm going to come back to the corner. And I'm going to go do the same kind of aura in each of the triangular sections. Work my way up to the center, but I'm not going all the way to the center. And then I'm going to aura to meet. And just keep doing this all the way around. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put arches in these triangular sections. So I'm going to start down here. Let's see, right here at this one. And I'm going to do an arch from one side to the other. And then I'm going to aura that arch. And I'm going to keep making an aura all the way up to the top. 
making the arches similar distances apart and it gets smaller and smaller up here at the top. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do on each part. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to fill in every other one. And I like to start at the very first one and just fill it in and you can just relax and color it. Okay, now I'm going to skip a band and fill in the next one. Okay, now skip a band and do the next one. Okay, skip a band and do the next one. Okay, and then there's just one last band to do on this triangular section. And that's how we're going to fill in all the sections. So just go to your next triangle and we're going to make an arch. I'm going to do this one here to the left, similar to the first one, and just going to go all the way up with these arches. Now I'm going to stop right there. And now I'm going to go ahead, whoop, just put the last little tiny one up there. Okay, let's go ahead and just fill in these arches. So I'm going to go from this side to the other side. And then aura all the way up.
Okay, now go to the next one. Arches, and a lot of them I'm trying to meet up with the triangle beside us. So I'm on purpose trying to get it lined up, but if it doesn't line up, it still has the same effect. So do not stress if your arches are not lining up because this triangular section, they're not going to line up. The other ones they could, but this one is just not going to happen. And it'll still have a great effect. This one, I'm going to start at the top just to do something different. And these are not going to line up. And you'll see at the end it's fine. That one had a, just a different angle to it. I'm going to try these. We just have two left. So I'm just doing like I did at the beginning, arch and then aura all the way to the middle. And then the last one. I'm just going to start at the top here. And they're not lining up totally. And it's going to have a different ending down here and I'm just showing you the different varieties the different ideas for you to do yours and then for this one I'm going to come out the bottom just to give it a little something okay so now it is time to really relax and just fill in and I'm going to do every other one and I'm going to go ahead and switch out to a PN pen And I'm going to start at the, on all the way around, I just like having the first band darkened and inked in. I just, for me, it gives it more of a contrast to the border, but you can do it any way you want to. That's just my preference. So just relax and fill in every other band all the way around.
Okay, that part is finished. So now it's on to step number six to shade. So grab your pencil. And we're going to go on the white band on either side. And I'm not putting it on the black band because it just sort of gives it a shine. And so I'm just, I'm looking for shadows. So I'm just going to put it on the white bands on each end of every white band all the way around. Okay, next, grab your tortillon, and we're going to spread out the pencil marks to make the shadow. And I'm going up from the edge toward the center just a little bit, but I'm not putting any of the graphite in the very center of the white band. But I'm, I'm stretching it, blending it, and bringing it toward the center. Okay, now get your white charcoal pencil, and we're going to go right down the center to give it a highlight. And I'm going on pretty thick, and I'm going to go down the center of each triangular section to give it the highlight. And I'm going to go back over it just to make it thick. Okay, next grab your tortillon that you 
reserved for your white charcoal pencil and just go through and smooth it out. And I even drag it across the white bands. It just gives it a look like the highlight is across the whole thing. Okay, now it's time for step seven, initial and sign. Grab your pen and put down your initials or your chop. I'm gonna put down my initials and then I aura to make a chop. And then turn it over on the back and this was tangle break. And the tangle today was fracas. And then step eight is appreciate again. And I can look at this in any direction. And I love how it has the spider web effect. And here it is so close to Halloween. I thought it would be a fun one to do. So hope you enjoyed your break. And I'll see you next time on Tangle Break.